what's going on everyone and welcome back to another map review now as you all know like i said previously i really don't own a lot of uh, photorealistic epic marketplace maps because there's not a lot of them but uh what i'm going to talk about today is this map here by fresh can it's the forest cabin bundle so if you check them out look at fresh can it's got a lot of pretty darn good assets here i mean this mountain grassland looks really good and i think i just bought his yeah his battlefield kit right here that i got now he did provide me the forest cabin bundle that we're going to be taking a look at today so just keep that in mind but if you look at his page he's got some pretty great stuff in here so you go check him out this actually looks pretty cool i might grab that as well and this there's a lot of good stuff in here so yep that's his store page and we're going to be taking a look at the forest cabin bundle which is pretty new here so here is the map open in Unreal Engine 4. And as you can see, you're going to get three different maps. You got WAS in this project alone. Now I don't have, and I turn off motion blur. Let's just double check this because I always forget this here. Okay, no, see, motion blur is still on. Let's turn that off and go ahead and make this smaller here. Press escape. Has some water here or full screen here. Now after scanning a couple of things in real life again you really don't know how hard something is until you actually do it yourself i even give much more respect now than i did before because if i mean these looks photo scan i mean i could be wrong but man it's actually a lot of work to photo scan something right, look at his tree bark as well this actually looks pretty good now, what I can think of for you to use as far as this map goes is if you turn the lights off here, this forest here can get pretty darn creepy. I mean, if you relight this to be a night scene, it's it would probably look insane. So uh, let's go ahead and press play. Now I have my Space Marine here, which is not included in the map pack. If you've been with me here in the channel, this is my map review person here, the Space Marine here. So, all right, so here he is. I'm gonna press F11. Now I didn't change any of the settings here, so yours might look good if you mess around with it a little bit more, but this is pretty close. And it's so exciting to see, you know, a lot more of these photorealistic assets because that's really what I want. Small photorealistic environment for movies rather than games granted you can make this a game if you want to but for me i actually want to make movies in this so it's pretty cool and i'm gonna show you how kind of like small this map is i mean it's a decent size right but you know it's obviously not like a open world <laughs> mmo it's a pretty nice size but yeah, that's what you're getting here. That's still pretty decent. All right, let's see. Got that. We got some boats in here, which is cool. Got barrels. Pretty nice water. Okay, so let's check out the other two maps. So this is map houses S. Okay, so this is Map Houses S. Eventually, my hope is for the, you know, character creators and map creators in the Epic Marketplace would start kind of giving you two options. You know, you get the low poly version and you would get the mid poly of characters and environments. So you have the low poly for the game and then you got mid poly for cinematics and making CG shorts in there. But yeah, this looks pretty darn good and it looks like, yeah, the leaves are, it looks like it's actually animating in the water, but it's probably just a material trick here. Let me take a look. It's not a landscape. So it's like something on top of the landscape that's part of this here. Oh, it looks like it's part of the 
leaves so it's leaf material that's kind of cool gives you that moving effect but really it's it's just a material <laughs> that's neat but yeah man this looks pretty good let's go get our spaceman in there all right press f11 let's jump up and let the grass load in just want to destroy that house and just <laughs> wish you can just like ram it over and destroy it got all these rocks again and you know one of the things that I do like about this year is actually there's a little bit of randomness going on like if you look at these rocks here like in real life, you know, not everything is facing or looking the same. And that's probably one of the hardest thing to mimic in a game environment, you know, like you don't want something repeating. And this has a pretty good randomness to it, even though there's only a couple of mesh uh, on this map. You know, it's there's not a lot of mesh overall, but the way you laid it out is actually pretty nice because it makes it look random and feel random, which at the end of the day it feels more realistic look at that you know all these rock formations right here that uh, looks pretty random which is kind of cool uh, fly around and overall it runs pretty well yeah this is man i really want to start making environments just arranging them. I mean, maybe photo scan them as well. Because this is really high on my list on how to learn. Okay, let's take a look at that last one and then we'll move on to Unreal 5. Okay, so we have uh, Map Houses W. This one is foggy. This is really nice. The uh, the ambience of this one is really good because I, I love overcast days. As much as I love, um, you know, midday overcast is my favorite type of lighting. Looks like I could probably push that down a little bit. Oh, this looks pretty good, man. I'm going to need you to, you know make a lot more of this because this is this is pretty crazy i mean i kind of want to see this now in a sequencer because now that this is i'm looking at it like this in an overcast kind of scenario i want to now that's a little pop up there let me press escape so i don't mess it up yeah get some good framing in there that looks really good. I love the fog as well. Um, maybe in the future, bro, you can maybe get like a night scene. That would be crazy in here. That would be so creepy. But yeah, this looks... Get a little bit of foreground in there. Sorry, I'm just messing around here because... This looks pretty good. <laughs> so let's go check out our uh, focus here. Just to kind of see how that out of focus looks. Now you see these right here. It looks uh, they're like lanterns. I'm gonna click on those. It's kind of a good idea to always check for those. Yeah, the gas lamps right here. That means that DOF is not set properly on these ones. Go to the master props and just type DOF. Whoopsies. Uh oh, I can't change it. It's grayed out, so I would have to change the under project setting somewhere. But whenever that happens, just change the DOF after rendering and that should be fixed. But I think I have to change it in the project settings for a little bit for uh, to get out of it. But aside for that, I mean, you can just remove them if you want. You know, if it's not really adding too much to it. There you go. It looks a little bit better. Pretty good. This is, this is good stuff, man. This looks really good. Oh, that's just my volumes. <laughs> Press G. Yeah, 
wow pretty exciting i i am starting to really like the direction on some of these environments on the way they're looking they're looking really good okay now let's go ahead and hop in uh, Unreal Engine 5 is just to see if we can nanite some of these things here. All right, so in Unreal Engine 5, I'm going to open up the the map house W because that's I really like that one. It's, it just looks really cool. Um, so let's take a look at our forest cabin. Let's look at props. Look at meshes and see what that is. Now for these walls and roofs, Usually those aren't nanite enabled, so we're gonna start with I know would be nanite enabled or could be nanite enabled, and that is the let's see what the landscape is. Okay, so yeah, materials in there. Got some procedural foliage, which I'm gonna be talking about. Let's look at meshes. Okay, so you got scan assets right here. So this these assets you can start trying to see if you can nanite these and it looks like you can so this is going to build a distance mesh field it's okay let's double click on this bark and let's take a look at the material master scans okay see so this one's good i think this might be jacking it up right here let me disconnect these and see if that fixes that. Okay, I'm gonna minimize this. Go on closest, and there you go. That should that should be good now. So if we have any nanite in this scene, or any of that bark, yeah, okay, good. So you can see now that those barks are now nanite enabled. See, so that's good. So let's take a look at some rocks. I mean, I can just really. It looks, yeah, actually, you know, I can control A all of these, except for the bark. I can nanite all of this. And then we'll fix to see which one broke. But it looks like I fixed the master, so all of these should work. Okay, so now if I go again to nanite visualization, triangles, boosh. Now there's a lot more nanite enabled, right? So now, you're not, as far as the static meshes go, those aren't going to pop up. They're there. Like, they're, you can see them forever as far as you can go. So if you go to triangles or just overview, you'll see that. See that? I'm like standing here, but I can see all those rocks way over there. And if I back up, they don't disappear. Oh, sorry, I went underneath. That is that's so crazy that's so cool because you won't have draw calls for those it's just gonna stay there there's no popping in you know i love that it just doesn't get old and pretty soon i'm hoping that trees and tree barks and all that stuff and grass will be uh nanite enabled as well <laughs> That would be crazy. But yeah, if you want to take a look at uh, this map, go ahead and check out his Epic Marketplace store. And if you want me to take a look at any other uh, projects, just let me know and see if you can uh, let us borrow it so we can take a look at it. All right, so just real quick, just so you know, whenever I reach 50,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away something really cool. And I'm going to be making a video about it here shortly hopefully this weekend so i can kind of announce it and what it is if you all have any questions like always let me know and uh thanks for watching so you want to make a movie in unreal engine 5 but you don't know how today is your lucky day How to make a movie in Unreal Engine 5 by JS Films. Out now.